Hi darlings. Ooh, a different setup. Watch out. It's good to be grounded, so we're going to be very grounded in this video, and then I have my little desk because I'm going to do uh, some arts and crafts. So uh, before any of you run away, my arts and crafts are pleaser heels involved. I am going to make these fit better. They were clearance. I really like them. I don't want to get rid of them, but they were clearance, and they are a size 8. Yes, I'm looking at the box. They are a size 8, which is the size that I determined that I needed, but they don't fit perfect. So I have some tips on how to make them fit better. Um, very much like point shoes, uh, you have to make it work for your foot. So we want to be safe, we want to feel good, and I'm going to show you how to do that. This video is accompanied by um, water and vegan Cheerios, vegan gluten-free Cheerios, not Cheerio brand. <laughs> Okay, so I want to start off by saying that if you want $5 off your next purchase for Pleasers, anything from Pleasers, I will be putting a um, referral code in the description of this video. I also put it in all the Pleaser videos because I just used a $5 off code that I got from someone else to purchase what I'm going to use today. So. What I have here are the Pleaser brand shoe insoles. Now these come in a pack of two. I believe they're uh, $10 and they were out of stock until this month. So they sent me an email to say that they were back in stock because I had put that on my notify me checkpoint. They let me know. So this is a size small medium. I got that size for a reason. I will show you why in a second, but I was able to use my coupon to get these for free. All I paid for was shipping, which was like $3.99, so great deal, and if you want a deal on, on really anything uh, on the Pleaser website and you want $5 off, you can use my code, so that will be there. Let me start off by saying these are amazing. I am using them for a totally different reason than I think they're actually made for but that's okay if you just want to insole because you want to protect your foot or have some extra cushion these are great you can see that they're not completely flat they are squishy and they have like hills and valleys that would be really good for the arch support of your foot um i think these are really amazing i don't need arch support um but like I said, if you do need that, then these are great. Now you can buy these at Walmart. Um, I've even seen these at the dollar store, this style, not this brand, but this style of insole where it's a sticky on the back and a, kind of a felt on the front and usually a little bit of squish, but this, I just want to emphasize that middle area right there. That's some serious squish. So if you really need arch support, these are amazing. The other really great thing about the Pleaser brand insoles is that the entire back is sticky. It has a film on it right now, a little plastic sheet on it right now that I'm going to take off, but that entire area is sticky. There are some companies that sell insoles for heels that will just have a single strip down the middle, and I've used those before and they do stick, but this for what I'm about to do is really important because you're going to have the ability to have the entire area um, be sticky. So my issue with these is actually the toe area here. I feel like it's kind of just a little less snug than I would like it to be so it's not as safe. Hi, I'm going to talk to you like this because I felt really far away from you over there so I'm over here now. <laughs> when you okay, when you have the pleaser heels that have this silicone here, they purposely make this area tighter so that when you put your foot in it, your foot will eventually stretch the silicone just a bit so that it fits your foot. So when you buy the kind that has the faux leather across the foot or the ankle, there's like it's probably like centimeters different, but it is a little bit bigger. So I was really feeling that area. Um, on the outside of my foot. So this would be my left foot. 
and the outside. So in order to make that better, what we're going to do is we're going to take our insoles and hopefully you can see this. There's a circle, there's the arch, and then there's a circle. We're going to cut out the circle here and the circle here and then stick them on in particular places in this shoe and it should make it more snug around my foot. And why it's important that you use um, the brand that has this sticky on the entire area is because I don't want it to start peeling off or rolling over because you know, you're gonna sweat in these. So I need it to stay. I'm gonna do that um, live on the air. So hopefully I don't F it up. Um, if not, I do have a second pair. Um, obviously these are black and these are, they're meant to be nude, but they're gray. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and use the gray and just uh, hope for the best. So we have our circle here, just so you can really see it. This circle that's happening with the, you see that? Do you see it? You see it, okay. So the line right here, I'm gonna cut that line and just cut the arch off. So you have this with the art without the art now there is the little letter it's going to say an, an l or an r right here i'm going to go ahead and cut that off and just make this whole area into a circle and kind of an oval and try to keep in mind that or remember that this is for the left foot so when you do that see how you have just a cute little just a cute little like do do <laughs> a little da da for your foot, right? Okay, so um, so I remember which one it is. I'm gonna put this. I haven't taken the back off yet, but I'm just gonna put this here with the left shoe, so I remember. Do the same thing on the right. So cut the arch off, mm -hmm. and then make it round and cut off the letter. Ta da! Ta -da. So I'm just going to put that right there for now. Now, the circle on the bottom, hopefully you can see that. The circle on the bottom is really straightforward. Just follow where the dots are. Yeah? Okay. So we're just going to follow the pattern that's already happening. One big cut. No need to do two. It's like a little egg. <laughs> okay, and this, well, I don't know which foot this was for, but it doesn't matter. Um, the heels are the same. There's no shape to them, so it doesn't really matter which one is which. So for now, I'm just going to stick it in one of those and do the same on the other one. I have this on. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one of them. I'm much of my girlfriend. Dancing in the... Cupid's joke holder. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Okay, I'm gonna move all this out of the way so we can focus on our sticking. I have my second egg. This one is much more symmetrical. Look at that. If you like, if you just tuned in, it would look like I was holding an egg. So where to put these is important because that's where you're gonna get that support. Now, these are for the left. So we'll do the left foot first. I'm just gonna um, open this up and put this behind so we don't get that in the way. I do wanna put this as meant to go on the pad of your foot. So if this is the left shoe and this is the left sticky, this is why it matters which one, you're going to put it in the center of the toe area, but just a little bit to the left okay see that it's in there and just a little bit to the left i think that's going to help this area here it's going to help make this a little more snug okay and then we're going to take the little egg the heel and we're going to actually stick it up on this side hopefully it fits yeah so we're gonna so it 
technically it's right here. You're sticking it up onto the leather foot. I, I really should speak to a cobbler and ask them what these parts of the shoes are called. <laughs> but if you look on the inside, you can see that it's up here. See that? Yeah. So that will help. I think that will help the toe part. So peel away. Oh, it's really sticky. Okay, to help get it in there, you can hold just on the outside and fold it just a little bit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then when you slip it in there, see, I'm going like this. So it doesn't stick to anything else when you're trying to put it in there. And then you can grab it in the front, find the area. That looks right. <laughs> and then just press it down. Let's see? Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to try it on just like this. I'm going to do both sides. I'm going to try it on just like this. Maybe I won't need the little extra bit, but I think I will. Okay, do the same thing. Pull the strap down so it doesn't get in the way. Peel off the back. Holding the sides. Fold it in. Grab it in the front. I'm checking to make sure they look the same before I press it down. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can kind of check and make sure they look similar before you officially press it down because I really think you are only going to get to do that once. Okay. Yeah. So I'll scoot my desk over here. <laughs> And I'll just try my left foot. I think my right foot might be bigger than my left, so let's have a look. Oh, that actually makes it really, that helps. Wow. Wow. That actually helps a lot. It's so hard to show, but there's still some, like a gap, some room right here. Maybe I can place this in here and just see what it feels like. Hmm. We'll give it a go. Okay. We're gonna give it a go and just take one of the little eggs and put it in here and then try it on. Worst comes to worst, I'll just take it out. Maybe I don't need it. Take the heat, the back off. Fold it. This one, I would maybe hold like this, up and down, so that when you turn the shoe to the side, you can pinch and just go in. Ah, it's so sticky. I think it might be too much. Maybe, like I need a little something, but that might be too much. So it's in there. See it? See how both of them are in there? Okay. Huh. Okay, so I just tried it and I actually liked it. Now, it's unfortunate that you can see just the lip of it right here. I don't love that, but it actually did feel better. So, let's do the other side. Take the back off. I'm gonna hold it horizontal. Like if it's an oval, it's gonna horizontally holding top and bottom. Squeeze. Place in. And let's see. Oh, that one's better. It's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. Okay. Yay! So yeah, I'm excited. I hope I hope it helps. I won't fully know until I give it a try and dance in them. Um, but it does feel a lot better and I feel good about that. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks!